Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Afternoon video for you guys today. I wanted to get this out quickly before I head off uh, with a little vacation with the family. Um, and I'll be gone for the next couple of days, so you won't see me streaming live on Twitch for a few days. Uh, I will still have YouTube videos going up here. I've got some scheduled uploads while I am out. I'll be active on Twitter. I'll still be around. I'm not just like going going dark or anything like that. I will still be around, and I'm actually planning to upload some YouTube videos um, from the companion app on my phone. So those might not be as high quality as these are in terms of like the audio and the picture and like seeing me and stuff like that, but. I still might try to get some of my thoughts out to you guys on stuff that happens the rest of this week and into the beginning of next week uh, with the companion app. I might try some of that out, so we'll see what happens with that. But I want to go over some of the stuff today, what happened with SBCs, and I see some market movements forming that I think I want to inform you guys about that could be good uh, to get involved with today. So first of all, the two SBCs we got today, Renato Sanchez. Uh, foot miss card very very nice looking card in my opinion this is like an emotional guy that a lot of people like to use in foot right he's not on Bayern anymore if he was I think more people would be doing this SBC just because of his links I think that's the number one thing stopping people from doing this card though is probably his links right so he's got he's he's Portuguese but he's in league one so it's not the easiest to link him Maybe you use him in a squad with if you have a league one team but for first owner objectives sure he works pretty well with a new set of icon swaps, that could come in handy. Uh, this card could at least. High, high work rates, four-star weak foot, three-star skills. He's almost Hullet Gang. He's just two face stats off defending uh, as, as from Hullet Gang. So crazy card, honestly. I think the stat that really surprises me the most, and I think you're going to notice the most in game, is 94 aggression. That's going to show so much on his tackling and on his physical, like, he's not going to get bumped off the ball that much. Like, let me compare him to Sissoko. What does Sissoko's foot miss card have in terms of aggression? I've got this card right here in my squad. What is Sissoko's aggression? Because I feel like his is high as well. 87 aggression with 93 strength. So, um, he doesn't have as much strength as Sissoko does, but he has a, that aggression. So, you should definitely feel that in game. This card comes in right now in footbin, says 37,000 coins. I think that's a pretty good deal. I think that card is a full send on a go. He got a huge upgrade. It's just a cool card to have, right? You can throw him in an SBC down the road later in foot if you don't need him. But spending 30K on that card now, maybe helping you with icon swaps. If you got 30K to spend, I would say go and do that one. Next SBC that we got today was Chucky Lozano, which uh, he didn't get that much of an upgrade, to be honest. He got plus twos in every category, but he got plus five shooting and plus five passing. This one's really cheap. It's right around like 25 to 30K. All you need is an 83 rated squad. So it is really cheap, but he didn't get that much of an upgrade. Uh, it's just another kind of emotional SBC, right? From his uh, cards that he had in, in years past, FIFA 18, he was so overpowered and so popular. Um, and a lot of people could link them in their squads, right? A lot of people use Mertens, a lot of people use Allen, or they did the Footmas Malquit, so they have Malquit linking to Lozano now. So um, this card I do think some people will do, but it's not that big of an upgrade. I think the price point is good though, technically, because if he got an inform upgrade, right? He got an 84, so basically he got the equivalent of an inform upgrade. Let's look at Irving Lozano's ones to watch card. Mr. Lozano ones to watch, which I think dropped down a bit today. He was like uh, he was like 18k when I looked earlier. Is he still there? Is he still there, or did he go up a little bit? So he's 18,000 coins for this card right here, which he got the plus five shooting and plus five passing. If he got an inform, he would go to an 84 rated, I think. I think 82s goes 84s, yeah, um, and. He would probably be somewhere on like, you know, 30, 40, 50K on the market, right? This once to watch card as being the 84 would probably be back up to 60 or 70K because this guy was 40K for a while on foot. So I feel like if he did get an inform, uh, his inform would be close or maybe even a little bit more in value than what the SBC is. You can do this SBC for honestly 20K if you prepared ahead of time or if you had some 80, 83s in the club. You could do this, uh, the Lozano SBC for pretty cheap. So I don't mind if you do this one. Honestly, I don't at all. This one I think might be the quote unquote better value, but this one is really solid in my opinion as well. So solid SBCs today. That was basically all we got in terms of SBCs on the game. We did get an objective player today though, which I'm a big fan of. Bula Bulaya, I think is how you say his name. FC Mets, he's Algerian, which is huge. He's Algerian and he's League One. So he gets that nice green link to right back foot miss at all, which a lot of people have been looking for a way to, to put them in their teams. 
these two guys on the right side. This guy's a five-star skiller, four-star weak foot, 90 dribbling. He's going to have, I think with this card, let me look it up on Footbin actually, because I haven't seen his card right away. I looked at this card when I first came out and it wasn't on Footbin yet, but let me show you guys this card because it looks pretty freaking good. This card looks pretty freaking good. 88 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, 95 shot power. The positioning is great. Finishing is not so much that great. Um, but he's got, he's a guy that you, you're going to get on the wing and try to dribble it in with, right? 90 ball control, 92 dribbling, 93 agility, 81 composure is fine. 82 stamina is fine. Um, so this guy is basically a little speedster. He's five foot 10, so he's not that little, but he's got the five star skills, pretty high agility, solid balance. Um, and then ball control and dribbling is great too. So he's going to feel great on the ball. And of course, a lot of people were trying to find a way to link that a tall card. And I think he's really the one that can do that for you if you did the Atal SVC. So that's an objective card that I probably will try and go grind myself on this game. So again, here's today's SBCs. Lozano at 31K, according to Flippin right now, and Sanchez at 37. Uh, both pretty solid and pretty cheap SBCs, in my opinion. This is what I was talking about, though, when I was mentioning other market movements. At the moment, some of the cheapest players by rating this page right here that we love uh, which is footbin.com backslash STC backslash cheapest, or just go on footbin, click the drop down and click on cheapest players by rating. A lot of these cards are dropping like flies. And we're talking about 86s, 87s, 88s, and 89s. Basically, since they were not required in any SPCs, they were really high this morning. What well, We can go check these out right now. Parejo this morning, as people were finishing the Furland Mendy SPC, check this out, man. The man was 20,000 coins, 21K, and is on a steep decline right now as people are listing these cards up and there's not really any there's not really any uh, demand for them. There's supply on the market because they're getting packed or whatever from, from people opening packs or from just people selling their investments, trying to get out of their cards that they had. And uh, there's just no demand, right? So he's going down in price at the moment. A lot of these 86s are, a lot of the 87s are as well. They're getting around 20K, which is crazy. That's pretty low. 88s are getting low and 89s are getting really low as well. So one of the ways you can gauge are these cards getting too low is by using the Messi SBC price, right? Messi's SBC right now, it says on Footbin, costs about 1.95 mil, which he was 1.7 million on um, the 20th. Bef like before we got all these good value SBCs, uh, this card was very low because the, the base icon pack went away. So there's less demand for the high rateds. And then uh, there was no footmas SBCs that required high rated cards. So a lot of the 89s dropped, the 86s, 87s. And we're getting to that point again where a lot of these high rateds are starting to drop again. So if you're somebody who wants to get in on these, I would say it looks like a decent opportunity to get in on some of these as they get low. 86 rated players. Now, I think we have to kind of adjust our rate, our standards, right? Because tomorrow we're getting Vidal and uh, we're supposedly getting Vidal, Footmas SBC, and a Shakiri SBC. Now, hopefully neither of those cards would actually require anything above an 86 rated player because that would probably mean it's not good value unless they absolutely juice the cards like crazy. So unless we get any more SBCs, these cards could continue dropping a little bit. So I'm going to set some low target prices for you guys in some of these 86s because the base icon SBC is no longer in the game with which is demand. There's no demand for that SBC. That was holding these 86, 87s and 88s and 89s. There, it was holding their prices up a little bit because people were still doing that SBC. But now since that's gone, I think you can lower your expectations a little bit on these cards. Like just for example, let's take a look at these card prices before that SBC came out. This is when the base icon came out. He was 10,000 coins, man. 86s were 10K at the beginning of November before Black Friday. Actually, right before Black Friday when that SBC came out. And then boom, the man goes to 19,000 coins for the base icon SBC. And then more SBCs come and he, he's kind of trickling around the market. But since that SBC is no longer here, will he go back down to 10K? No, I don't think so because then people would start doing other like Werner player of the month and Messi player of the month and because that would just get stupid cheap. So if you see these guys around 13K, I think 13K for the 86s is like a really low point. 14K is not bad because, you know, when an SBC comes, when they're required, they'll shoot up to 18, 19,000 coins like we saw with Mendy. So um, these cards are going to be definitely ones to watch that I would say 87s as well. If you can get these under 20,000 coins, I'm a fan. 88s at like 25 to 26K are fantastic. And then 89s, like 
Busquets for 34K is honestly crazy. This guy has been 34K since before this SBC came out. Look, 25,000 coins. He literally has not been 34K uh, in a long time. He was just 44K yesterday, man. And the guy's down to 34,000 coins at the moment, which is very tempting for me to buy, actually, because he is one of the, the crucial cards needed for the Messi SBC. And if this card, if this SBC keeps dropping, the Messi SBC, if it keeps dropping in price, it was 2. Point, it was 2.2 million coins last night. Right now, it's dropping down to 195. So, Busquets might be somebody that I would be interested in looking at if he gets down like any any lower. Honestly, this would be a card I'd be very intrigued to look at because people are going to start doing that Player of the Month Messi SBC as he gets lower and lower. So that's a card that I'm kind of interested in, right there. And I don't really know if Vidal is going to require high-rated cards tomorrow, but uh, it is probably club stock time. Uh, club stock time on the 88s, the 87s, the 86s. Wait on the 85s. They're still dropping a little bit yet. Once you see those at 8K, I'm a fan. But I do think tomorrow if we do get Vidal and we do get um, Shakiri, that those guys would probably require more along the lines of like 84 and 85 rated squads uh, at the most, unless they give insane, insane boost uh, for some of those cards in the game. I hope they're cheap. I mean, I hope we end footmost of the Big Bang. Another potential possibility is a Team of the Week SBC tomorrow. Depending on what comes out with the team of the week, I would say that there's a possibility that EA could put out a team of the week SBC, not tomorrow actually, maybe on Christmas. Last year we had a team of the week SBC, but it was in the game along the time frame of UCL Live 2, which was happening last year at this time. And it doesn't look like that promo is going to happen this week or maybe at all, possibly next week either. We'll see what exactly happens with that promo. I'll try to cover that as I get information for you guys. But... It doesn't look like that promo is coming at the moment. So I'm not entirely sure about um, about those cards coming out. I do have a little bit of a hunch, though, that since we've gotten all these Europa League uh, SBCs, Gedson Fernandez, Yannick Balassi, the Kent, and the, uh, the, the Forest player pick SBC with this one, I think there's going to be Champions League SBC is coming soon. The UCL card should be getting a version really soon as well, I think. Like, why would they drop Road to the Final Europa League if they're not going to do Champions League? So keep an eye out for those. We still have the 80 plus upgrade packs in the store as well. Since those are out for seven more days, I find that a bit intriguing. I feel like there's going to be another SBC coming, whether it's a Team of the Week upgrade or more, more SBCs after footmas is over because this seven days definitely goes past footmas as last as tomorrow is our last day for footmas so those are kind of my thoughts on the that kind of stuff and if you invested in link investments to or like panic sold left backs like i know a lot of you guys probably bought some Mados. i know some of you guys bought um other left backs in this game that were down because of the furland mendy sbc give those a little bit of time right like tomatoes up a tiny bit from where he was yesterday I just want to show you an example of a Panic Sold SBC, uh, a Panic Sold special card that has since rebounded after an SBC. So De Gea came a couple days ago, right? And this Allison Champion or the Allison Team of the Year nominee card went down to like 80k. I bought like five or five to seven of them in 80k. He's back up to 99,000 coins, almost 100k. And I actually sold one on the last hour at 110. So if you bought any of those cards in the Panic, I think I have some more Allisons up in here. I do. There's a bunch of them right there. I haven't listed all at 110 because I think you can definitely, definitely get there. Um, if you bought any panic sold cards, just give it a little bit of time, right? Honestly, just give it a little bit of time. I bought an Allen when he was panic sold, and now I, I have it listed crazy high for a lazy buyer because of Lozano, but it doesn't look like he's going to go up that high. Um, so if there's stuff that's panic sold, um, definitely don't be too scared that the rebound hasn't happened yet, especially on a guy like Screamo to Mendy. I know a lot of you guys bought this card because of the Dominson Sanchez SBC, and he literally hasn't moved. Uh, he's actually gone lower, I think. I saw him at 229 earlier today, which he's he's back up a little bit now. So the rebound might be starting to happen with him. 238, which isn't too bad for him, but it's still low. He was 280 earlier this week. So just give those cards a little bit of time. Thursday rewards should help these cards. Again, I'll probably do, I'll try to do a Thursday flipping video. I'll put something up on YouTube because I do have a lot of, I have a lot of thoughts this week for Thursday Flipping. I think it's going to be a great week uh, for the lower tier budgets. There's a lot of new people coming onto the game right now, maybe putting in some FIFA points and starting their 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 teams with maybe like somewhere between 100 to 500K. So for some of the cheaper Thursday Flipping stuff, which is what we've been doing lately, I do think there's a possibility for to uh, make some coins 
on some of those cards. So that's kind of a little market talk video for today. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.